What up, y'all? Uh, Daniel here, uh, the wizard of music marketing. I'm um, here to show you today, FL Studio, FL Studio 9, that is. And we're going to get to it. I'm going to make a song within, let's say, 10 minutes, hopefully, and show you basically how FL 9 works. So let's get to it. Hey, what up, y'all? Dan D here, also known as Daniel Santos, the wizard at musicmarketing.c8. I'm here to give you a tutorial about FL Studio. Within 10 minutes, we are going to make a song. And that's not a lot of time trying to do a tutorial. So, let's get on with it. FL Studio, basically, um, is a DAW, digital audio workstation, um, that can create hit songs within, within really fast. <laughs> so, we're going to get on with it. Here we go. So let's start with this main, the main thing so when you open FL Studio this is what you see well not me this robot here but up here we have the main section of so it's basically our transport window alright so we have our main section here file edit channel view option tools help etc and this little bar right here is our status our monitor no our status window shows you tells you everything that you're hovering over right so that there play stop record right here shows you that right over there okay and master pitch right here yeah that's not it's not controlling me just trying to make everything interesting <laughs> and we have the main the main master volume control right there right there it's like I'm falling Woo! And we're back. And we have basically our clock. No, our timer. Whatever you guys want to call it. Right there. Okay. Tells you where you are in the song. We have our master tempo right here. So it goes all the way to 99. Because all the hits are made over there. And to 10. We're not going to do that though. Because uh, unfortunately I haven't found a way to make a hit song within that range so we're gonna go to one let's go to one let's go to 125 125 next to it we have our patterns a whole bunch you can go all the way to 999 as well but we're not going to let's go to one over here we have a whole bunch of uh, tools to help us while we're making our song okay um, just hover over it to see what they do for instance typing keyboard to piano keyboard we're gonna keep it to typing keyboard so we can do our shortcuts and stuff next to this section we have basically our snap and quantization um, right here so we're gonna keep it at cell okay uh, this is just uh, online content and events you can basically keeps you updated while making music alright monitor monitoring my voice yes you can record in FL Studio I do it at a sometimes but not too often um we got our computer monitor basically uh you know how much ram cpu we're taking up our prolifony right over here and the five main windows well buttons and we're gonna go through those buttons while i make the song but the first one's playlist second one is sequencer we got a piano roll we got the browser and we got the mixer. Those five elements right there will help you make this a song, a hit song in 10 minutes. We've taken one minute to tell you about this transport. And here's just some basic stuff like, you know, undo, save, and whatnot. We don't have to go through it, though. Um, just close MSN. I don't know why I'm on and doing this tutorial. I should be just doing this tutorial. Let's get on with it. So let's make this hit song. Um, we're gonna take you through the sequencer first, which is this button right here. And I uh, hope you guys are all into hip hop or some sort of house, you know that kind of style. My uh, style of music is I call it well electro blues. It's a mixture of uh, I guess urban and elect and like house music, um, house rhythm, house synthesizers you know electro synthesizers mainly electro synthesizers with hip-hop breakdowns and R&B vocals basically 
Just trying to start something new in Toronto, Canada. Yep. Just one of those guys. The wizard. So let's get on. So right now, default comes with kick, clap, hat, snare. And we're going to use those. Just, you know, to show you how it works. Um, let's make a pattern right now. Boom, boom, clap. No, we're not going to do that. Let's uh, do that. So let's press play. Okay, so it's too short. So what we're going to do is expand the sequencer right here using this little box. And we're going to bring it to 16 bars, which is the maximum. So I don't know why it says 64. Don't know yet. I will find out, and I will tell you the next time I find out. So we expanded it to 64. Let's just spread it out and enlarge it. There you go. And boom, boom, clap. We got our claps. Um, it says 125 tempo, but I'm doing halftime. So I just like working like that. Just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Huh. All right. Here we go. Let's try this. So boom. Yep. Uh. <laughs> I can't rap. Don't even count on it. So boom, boom, clap, boom, 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 clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, 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 clap. Yeah, we can leave the uh, other part empty. Uh, let's just change the boom, boom. Oh, sounds weird. Okay, let's do that. So our basic, basic, basic beat. Uh, we also have hat and snare. We're not going to use them. Not going to use them. So let's just delete them. Right click and press D or delete and OK. Boom. So now we only have those two things. Kick and a clap. All right. So now basic, basic uh, loop and sounds really amateur we're not amateurs so we're gonna go into the browser poof and it shows up and basically um, contains all your files all your presets all your plugins all your synthesizers all your sound samples etc um, and we're gonna go replace these two sounds so packs and we got a whole bunch of default great sounding mind you sounds and let's just go through each one of them. You can actually play the beat and listen listen to what we want to put in at the same time. Sounds nice. Let's just drag and drop into on top of the kick channel and automatically change the sound so you can hear. It actually sounds weak. Let's just go into another channel. What's this? Oh yeah. Sub kick sounds nice. Okay, so our clap sounds horrible, at least for right now. So let's add a nice snare instead. Uh, flam. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's use that. Ah. Uh, yeah. Let's use those. Okay. So we got a nice boom clap. Okay. Let's add a little bit of dynamics. Let's go back in there and look for a hi-hat to use. 